Do you want to outsmart that controlling narcissist in your life? In this video, I'm going to give you eight ways to outsmart that controlling narcissist in your life so that you can get rid of them forever. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung. I'm an attorney. I'm also a narcissist negotiation expert. I have helped many thousands of people get rid of narcissists forever. If you are ready to go from feeling powerless, paranoid, and just generally feeling disempowered, and you are ready to feel whole, complete, at peace, joy, freedom, happiness, as fast as possible, then make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm here giving you free advice from an attorney, a top attorney. I've been recognized by US News, best, best lawyers in America, all over. And I want you to have the power in your hands. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, eight ways to outsmart that controlling narcissist. By the way, I have a brand new book Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with Narcissists and Win. It is literally in pre-order right now. I have tons of free bonuses for you. Go to slaythebully.com, grab it. All right, number one, what's the one thing they want you to do? What's the one thing they want you to do? They want you to take their bait. Why do they want you to do that? Well, because they go fishing. Boom, reel you in. So don't take their bait. Okay. Do not take their bait. Why do they want you to take their bait? Because then they feed their ego. They feed that need inside of them for supply. So remember, they don't feel inside like they have any value. They literally have to get all of their value from external sources. So yes, it's how they look to the world. Yes, it's ego. Yes, it's winning. Yes, it's adulation. Yes, it's all of those things. But it's also by controlling people, debasing people, degrading people, manipulating people. That's also a form of supply for them. So when you take their bait, when they throw things out there to try to trigger you, that gives them a high. It literally, they get off on that. So when they send you these long emails, these long texts, these long things, or something through their attorney or something that they know that is going to trigger you and you go right in, right in with them, they really got exactly what they want. And then now you're sucked into the mud. You're sucked into the quicksand with them. But there's, it's even worse than that. Because not only are you giving them narcissistic supply, number one, you're giving them what they want, but number two, it also, they use your emotional reaction against you. So if you are in any kind of a situation where either you are in a, a, a potential court case or negotiations of any sort or you could be down the road ever, they will use it against you, okay? They will say, look, there's the crazy one. They sit over there, calm, cool, collected, not one bead of sweat has ever touched their brow, and you look like the crazy person. And they use your reactions against you. You know, one of the greatest examples of this is in the mini series, I Care A Lot. I did a whole video on this where the woman who was the caregiver of these elderly people went up to the woman, the other woman, the elderly woman, and whispered in her ear while the camera was playing. She, you know, she would get these elderly people to become like her wards right? So if she was their guardian, then she would get control of their money and she would basically take their money, right? And so she would get them in front of these the judge and have them declared 
in confidence. She would put them into these nursing home facilities and she would get control of their money. So when there was a hearing coming up for this woman's capacity in front of this camera, she whispered in front of the camera all sorts of things to get her upset. I'm going to do this, you're this, you know, all sorts of things, whispering quietly. And the woman like went nuts in front of the camera and looked like crazy person, insane person who basically needed a straitjacket, needed to be restrained. The other woman, the caregiver person was like, oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Ugh terrible this crazy old elderly person who is obviously doesn't you know have her capacity so she literally took her bait hook line and sinker and that's what happens with narcissists so and i did a video on that which you can check out if you'd like but that's what they do and it doesn't have to be in that kind of situation you know they can say you know you're a deadbeat dad or you know horrible mother and you can you know sit there and say what are you talking about i just picked them up from school i just fed them their snacks i just took them to baseball or whatever are you kidding me i just paid child support you know whatever it is and then you're down into it and you're in the thick of it and you're in it don't take that bait because you don't need to prove anything to them they are not the judge. They are not the jury. Okay. You don't need, they are not the person you need to prove anything to. So who cares what they say? Don't take their bait. That's number one. Number two, don't engage in conversation with them or in any conversations that are emo emotional or, or argumentative or, or in any conversations about the past. You know, this is another way to not take the bait, but really to outsmart that controlling narcissist. Because again, they're gonna to try to drag you into these things, but don't talk about the past because that's something else that they're gonna do. They're gonna get you to talk about something that happened 20 years ago, if they can, especially if you're trying to call them onto the carpet about something that happened now. If you are going to get them to be held responsible for something today, they will definitely try to project and deflect about anything else because they don't want to be held responsible for something that's going on now. So they're going to try to do anything they can to get that conversation off of that. So don't engage in that. Don't start getting argumentative. Don't get emotional. You know, by the way, I have phrases for disarming narcissists, which you can download. It's totally free. Go to disarmthenarc.com. Highly recommend that you grab that, disarmthenarc.com. You know, don't engage, don't get emotional, don't get argumentative with them. Total waste of time. You're not going to convince them of anything. You know, they're not going to go, oh, you know what? I get it. Now, I see what you're saying. Oh, yes. Now, you know what? I was wrong. They're not doing that. So what are you doing? Just stop. Stop yourself. All right. Set boundaries. Stick to them. That's the next one. Set boundaries. Stick to them. You know what I say? Step one, don't run. Step two, make a U-turn. Step three, break free. Remember what's negotiable contracts, issues, terms. You know what's not negotiable? Your self-worth, your self-esteem, all right? So step one, don't run. That's where you're putting your boundaries into place. Step two, make a U-turn. Step three, break free, okay? Re avoid confrontation as much as possible. All right, next one. Don't try to change them. Don't try to fix them. Don't try to change what their beliefs are. Don't try to get them to acknowledge anything you did or anything that, you know, your accomplishments. Any kind of conversation like that is a waste of your time, your energy, your 
good life on this earth, your breath, all of that creative, wonderful energy that you have is just better spent doing other things on this planet. You know, you can say things to them like, I agree, that's what you think. Or you can say things to them like, that's an interesting perspective. <laughs> you know, just say things like that, just to keep things flowing. The next one is remember that you, your self-worth, who you are, has absolutely nothing to do with them. You are whole and complete, and it has absolutely a separate value from who they are. Your self-worth does not depend on what they say, what they do. And the more time that you spend giving them and, and thinking about what they're doing is less time that you have to create and be the highest version of yourself. So, you know, that was one of the massive, huge aha moments that I had when I was extricating myself from a narcissistic relationship. I realized that every moment that I was giving to this person, I was in victim mode. And so I needed to stop. So, you know, do what you need to do to get out of that relationship and think about it when you have to, when you're strategizing or creating your leverage or whatever. Remember my slay methodology, strategy, leverage, anticipate and focus on you. So when you're thinking about it, think about it. But any other time, you got to be in create mode. You know, give yourself the gift of being the highest, best version of yourself. Think about something else that you can pivot to that is going to keep you in creation mode. You know, is it going to be writing that book that you've always wanted to write? Is it going to be helping people? Is it going to be coaching people? Is it going to be devoting your life to something that you've always wanted to devote your life to? you know, your children is whatever it is, you got to pivot into something else because you, you, your self-worth, all of that has nothing to do with them. They are broken people. And so however they've been toward you in the past has nothing to do with you. Okay. People, the way people treat other people is a direct reflection of the way they feel about themselves, good or bad. You know, they've treated you poorly because they don't feel good about the way they feel about themselves inside. So you can't take it personally. The next one is stay positive, stay upbeat around them. Let them know that you're like Teflon, you know, just let it roll, fly off. You know, like, or, or like a duck's back. It just, you know, rolls off of you because as long as they think that that's what's happening, then it'll start, they'll start to be disinterested because you're not taking the bait anymore. You are calm. You're not emotional. You're happy. You're not interested in giving them supply anymore. And the less and less all of that is interacting, then they're going to be very much surprised. So step one, don't run. Step two, make that U-turn. Step three, break free. So you're literally turning this around so that you're no longer backing away. You're no longer on the defensive. You're, you're turning around. You're walking forward. You're now on the offensive. And that's how you start to stand in your power. And that's how you start to break free. So I want you to put in the comments right now, I can do this because you can do this. You absolutely can. All right. The next one is you maintain your individuality. You maintain your independence. As you start to break free, as you start to become powerful, as you start to become confident, you will start to see yourself as separate. You will start to see yourself as something different. And you will start to see that power coming underneath you. That's when you start to see that wind coming underneath your wings. Be prepared for drama. Be prepared for manipulation. 
because they won't want to see that supply source coming away from them. You know, narcissists are always the worst right before they're ready to give up. You're, it's like a toddler having a tantrum, you know? I mean, it's it's as that baby is being kind of conditioned, they get worse and worse and worse. So be prepared for that drama, a drama, trauma, and chaos. But you can do this, right? You put that in the comments already, right? I can do this because you can. All right. And lastly, get that professional help that you need, right? So you will need help. You will, will need support. You will need a support system. Make sure you join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung. Join that. You will need help. You will need support. You will need a support system. You get professional therapy. If you don't have access to it, we do have a partnership with BetterHelp. You can go to betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Zung and get that online support therapy if you need access to that. We receive commissions. It doesn't cost you any extra. We just want you to have the help and support that you need. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. We want you to make sure that you have everything that you need. I'm here providing free resources for you every day as an attorney, helping you negotiate with narcissists, helping you communicate with narcissists every single day. Remember that you have a voice. You have a voice. You have a right to have a voice. You have a right to speak your truth. Okay. And so the next thing that I want you to do after you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, is watch my video on five ways to set boundaries that work because that's going to be so important. That's part of step one, don't run. So I will see you in that next video. Remember that today's a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I'm going to see you in that next video, five ways to set boundaries that actually will, will work. All right. See you there.